Welcome. So you're thinking about taking the risk management professional exam. Hi, I'm Harry Hall, your project risk coach. And today we're talking about obstacles and opportunities to the RMP exam. What are the things that may hinder your ability to take the exam, to prepare for the exam? And what are the things that may advance your cause? Well, let's dive in. First of all, talking about obstacles, the things that block your way. I've helped many project managers prepare for their PMP and RMP exams. And one question that I like to ask right up front, and I'm asking you today, what is the greatest obstacle in your way? What is the one thing that is uh, affecting your ability to prepare for this exam? You know, some project managers will say to me, well, I'm not sure what to study. I'm not sure what books to get. Uh, I, I don't have a study group. What is your obstacle? Hey, I want to invite you. Uh, drop your comment uh, below. Let me know what is the, the biggest thing that's limiting your ability to prepare for this exam. As I've asked that question over and over through the years, the most common response that I hear is, I am busy. <laughs> I get it. I'm busy at work. I've got several projects. I've got all these team members and other stakeholders that I'm managing. Uh, I'm working late. I'm working on weekends. I'm already super busy at work. And I'm not only busy at work, I'm busy outside of work. So we have commitments to our spouse and to our children and to our friends and neighbors, and we are involved in civic groups and churches, etc. And so we have all of these things going on. So I have some recommendations, some things to help you find the time that is required to prepare for an exam like the RMP. First of all, evaluate your normal activities and commitments. Uh, look at all of those things. Are there some things there that you might uh, stop for the period of time that you're preparing for the exam? Or maybe you reduce your level of engagement and commitment there. For example, let's say that you're a member of the Toastmasters group and you meet every week. You might just say to that group for... Uh, the next couple of months, I'm, I'm going to be busy preparing for this exam. I, won't, I will not be here for the weekly meetings. Second of all, evaluate your morning routine. Think in terms of what time am I going to be getting up? Are you going to be exercising? If so, when? What days of the week will you be exercising? How long will you be studying? And how will you study? Third thing, evaluate and change your bedtime routine. A lot of the problems we have in the morning uh, stem from a bad nighttime bedtime routine. So think about what time will I be going to bed. When, when I have seasons of things like the RMP exam, I like to get to bed a little bit earlier so that I can get up earlier. Uh, I'll put out my shoes, my clothes, so that, that they're right there ready for, for me as I, I get up every morning. And then prepare your study area. Do you have adequate lighting? Do you have your study resources and materials there in that area? And then if you're like me, uh, I, I go ahead and prepare the coffee maker before I go to bed. So first thing I do as I Walk into the kitchen is press the on button and let the uh, coffee be made. Fourth, turn off your social media and other notifications. If at all possible, turn those things on. Let's do everything that we can to reduce unnecessary distractions. So we've talked about obstacles. Let's turn our attention now to opportunities. You hear that phrase, window of opportunity. There's a set of circumstances that make it possible for us to do something that we normally would not be able to do. 
Let me give you some examples of opportunities related to the RMP exam. Imagine that your local Project Management Institute chapter is going to have a speaker and that person is going to be speaking on the topic of what? Project Risk Management. By the way, I do this with, with uh, PMI chapters. Let me know if you have interest in that. So that would be an opportunity. What about uh, maybe there's a study group. There's a group of people from your PMI chapter that are going to be getting together and you could join them and work together in preparing for the exam. Uh, another example, maybe you walk into a bookstore, you're looking on Amazon online, and you see that there's a discount or a sale on the RMP exam prep study guide, so we could take advantage of that. Last example, maybe you're going to a project management symposium Look for breakout groups where they're talking about risk management. Have you noticed uh, that we, <laughs> we are actually practicing risk management in these videos? In the last video, we, we talked about the importance of clarifying your personal objectives related to uh, taking the RMP exam. Uh, why do you want to do that? So we clarify our objectives. And then the next step in risk management is that we identify threats and opportunities, okay? Obstacles and opportunities. What are the things that may hinder our ability and what are those uncertain events or conditions that if they occur will actually help us to achieve our objectives? Hey, I want to be sure that you're seeing all the videos in this series uh, as well as other series. So be sure to hit that red subscribe button and the notification bell there. And we'll notify you every time that we upload a video here. This is Harry Hall, your Project Risk Coach. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop those below. And I'll be glad to respond to you soon. Take care now.